Jordan Edwards lived and died here in the suburbs east of Dallas, raised by a couple that moved to an area once almost exclusively white, hoping to trade hard inner city lives for a piece of the American dream. It was worth all the long days Charmaine Edwards spends working in the office of a trucking company and the long haul nights Odell Edwards spends driving for it. And here the Edwards three boys would also live out the Texans creed, faith, family, and football. And when it came to football, since his peewee years, Jordan was fired up. Every time I, it was time for him to go to practice. He's ready to go. He was ready to go. He'd be waiting with his football gear on. Dad, I'm ready. All right, son, I'm coming, I'm coming. That first day I walked through the weight room and he jumped up off the bench and, hey coach, my name's Jordan Edwards. All A student, honor roll student. His teachers loved him, principals loved him. Never in trouble. For many years, the Edwards' only trouble was keeping up with three active boys. Good school, good sports. Life was good, Kevon? Yes. How would you describe it? Uh, peaceful. That all changed on the night of April 29th, 2017. It began with an American teenage rite of passage, an invitation to a house party hosted by a kid whose parents were away. As teenage house parties go, this one was by all accounts tame. But it was crowded and loud, and when neighbors called police to shut it down around 11 p.m., the Edwards boys were among the first out of the house. Get moving. Get on out of here, guys. Jordan was saying goodbye to his girlfriend. And then he got in the car. Mm -hmm. What happened next would be captured on the police officer's body-worn cameras and provide an extraordinary window into the final moments of Jordan Edwards' life. 